I saw somebody asking how you can put radial dimensions in a viewport. So I'm just going to show you. I've already got two viewports created. I'm going to double click on one, which I've got set to automatically go into my annotations. And then I'll place a radial dimension. Now you'll notice that when I click on the edge of my circle, my radial dimension allows me to place a radial dimension, or I can place a, a diametrial dimension. Now you can't do it in the 3D viewport, that's okay. But I'll just show you how I set this up to make it easy. Now the one thing I can do is to go back to my design layer. I can place a dimension here in my 3D view. And that dimension will appear in my viewports when I update them. And there it is. You can see I've got my dimension on there. So let's go back to my design layout and I'll show you how I set this up so that I was sure that I could do my dimensions. So starting with my rectangle tool, create the object. And then to create the hole with the circle, I'm certainly going to use my automatic working planes here, auto plane. So place my circle. Make sure I pull that through. And I've got my settings here so that it's automatic working plane. It's instant, instant push-pull. And it's the push-pull combined mode, making sure I punch the hole in that. Now, if I go back to my viewports here, back to my sheet layer, let's update my views. And I'll update this one as well. There's my new location. So I double-click, get rid of that. And I should be able to place another diameter or radial dimension on there. And if I want to, I can turn the leader to the left off so you can see there's my dimension. So that's how I would do it if I was looking to do the radial dimensions. And I guess one of the tricks is really to make sure that I'm using that automatic working plane to make sure I get the working plane on the object so when I extrude, it goes through perfect. Thanks for watching.